Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos like the one you're about to see here. for tuning in we are going to do another paycheck budget breakdown and it is from july 15th so i'm just a little bit behind when you're seeing this but not too bad i mean it could be worse um i'm still trying to upload a video a day and so far so good so i'm trying to keep the momentum alive some are going to be better videos than others they're not all, all going to be winners so just bear with me i am doing my best to come up with different focus or, or different focuses for my content and all the different videos that I'm uploading. But anyways, um, if you have ideas, please list them down below. So thank you to everyone who has purchased one of these printed planners from Amazon. I love them so much. This is the calendar year one, and this is the academic or fiscal year for 2024, 2025. So I love both of these and I haven't sold a ton of them on the Amazon. The link is down below, but if you have purchased one, thank you so much. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. It. So I have my calculator ready and I was kind of piecing together the month of July budget kit because, and that's my fault. I mean, I could print out a whole brand new one, but I'm not going to because this was like the transition period that I was into when I was like redesigning some of these sheets. So this is what typically it looks like. And of course there's um, no back because I printed these out, you know, singularly, but this is August. Like August should look like this month on two pages monthly. Then we get into five paycheck, um, budget breakdowns and sinking funds, monthly goals, spending tracker, bill payments, debt tracker, dinner plans, and monthly recap. So that's what the month should look like. But since I was spending so much time tweaking July, I was like printing out as I go, look, I have my old sheets in here. It's just a mess. So could I redo it? I could, I don't really want to right now, but I don't know. The reason why I'm telling you that is because I did the 12th here. This was the budget breakdown with you guys. And then here it's one of the grayscale or black and white sheets. So I'm not gonna waste it. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it for this video, even though it doesn't look very pretty. We're still going to um, make the most of it. So let's see, so commissions, that's what we're talking about today. Commissions are crazy. So being in sales like my husband is, is so stressful. And it just is, you know, anybody's guess sometimes. I mean, you can be the best salesperson, which he's not a salesperson by trade. This is like his second career. He has a partial retirement, well, permanently for life, but he took it at a reduced rate for life so he could start collecting early. But anyways, um, this isn't his actual career, I guess, that he set off on. This is just like a second thing. So sales is hard. Um... He does make a base pay, and I always explain this for anybody who's new, so I'm sorry if you've heard this a thousand times, but a base pay is more of, it's your take home. So a draw, the difference between that is, it's also like your base pay that you get, aside from commissions, but sometimes if you get a draw, your company can make you pay back that draw if you don't sell the exact amount or more in commissions. So he has a base pay, which is nice. So he's guaranteed that. This is anything over and above. So actually this would have, his commissions should have been, let's, let's actually look. Oh my gosh, look at this. Ugh. This calendar is the worst. I mean, it's on a bad angle. You can't see it. Ugh. I don't know, like the little solar panel, does that mean like you literally have to have it out? Cause I keep these in drawers. Like, I don't know if I'm doing it and I'm just getting out old faithful. Um, not very aesthetic, but whatever. So let's take his base pay or let's take his commissions and let's add 29%. So he would have sold $2,495.96, okay? So you would take out probably, and that's with taxes. Wait, that can't be right. That's not right, stop it. Uh, 94 plus 29%. Okay, so $1,406.23 if you're rounding up. So he would have had to take, 
Okay, yes. So he would have also had to include, let's say, he takes home about 12 something, almost 13 something. So probably another 1600 with taxes. This is probably how much his commission should be. But since they take the base pay out of it, he ended up with this after taxes. Now, if he didn't make this much, it's okay. He doesn't owe them any money back. So I don't know. It's, it, this is kind of a convoluted way of explaining it. But I guess I think you guys get what I mean. Um, so this is his commission after taxes and all his deductions and everything. And also after they take the base pay out. Because they don't pay you twice for it. So we are going to allocate it for a couple fixed expenses as well as our variables. So although it's not a lot, I mean, it's not... Is not the worst check he's ever gotten. You know, sales 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 are so volatile. Um, you know, and sometimes you could think you're gonna have a great month, and you know, it just ends up being one of your worst, and vice versa. So, we're making both of our car payments out of this. So for variables, let's just go start listing those. So I have a sweater on. I'm all over the map here, um, and it's so hot outside but we have our air turned way up for Stella our little pug she's just having a really hard time like overheating and breathing in this heat and although I think we keep it quite comfortable it's still not good enough for her so we had to really crank it up I can't wait to see what our bill is going to be but really that's not the that's not the main issue here or concern she's a pug so she has one of those flat faces and she's very prone to the swelling of her sinuses like they all are. There is surgery that pugs and like Frenchies can have to kind of alleviate this problem, but we talked to our vet about it last year and he was like, ah, I don't know, she's kind of old for that. And it's, it's pretty invasive surgery. So I don't wanna put her through something horrific. And if we can just keep her comfortable by cranking up the air, then whatever, so be it. But I just feel so bad for her because she's really, really struggling. In the meantime, I'm freezing. All right, so these variables here, let me draw my little fancy bracket. Um, these here are for the um, time period of July 19th through the 26th. So the reason why I specify that for groceries, gas, and dog food is because sometimes our pays run very close together and I don't necessarily need to take out 175 for groceries and then two or three days later take another 175 out. I'm still gonna have to organize it on the calendar. So that's why I do this now. I kind of put what this is supposed to cover. So um, this, this amount here is supposed to cover this time period for groceries, dog food, and gas. So that's how we're doing it. All right. So what else do we have? That's it. Uh, you know, usually my anxiety tax would go on here, but I think I told you guys that my the lady I was seeing, my therapist, she quit, and she is going to work about an hour and a half away from me, but she's also focusing on adolescence, and it's just not, you know, obviously I don't fit that bill, um, but, you know, good luck to her and everything. She wanted to recommend somebody, and I was like, ah, let me wait, like, let me just see for a minute, because sometimes, you know, like, I have friends who go to counseling or go to therapy, and um, I'd rather hear from them, you know, who do you recommend? Um, all right, so our fixed expenses were six eighty two seventy one. Income, I'm going to write that down again. So this is the receipt area, and again, this page isn't very static because it's in black and white, but it also gives you an example of how you can print this out in grayscale if you wanted to. So if you're downloading my budget kits, you can definitely do that. Um, if that saves you some ink, saves on some money, um, you know, whatever, whatever is easiest for you. So I'm adding up my variables right now and they're $3.95. So let's see. I'm going to write that on the receipt area. So here we go. And we're not saving anything just because I don't really think it allows for it this time. And subscriptions, nothing this time. So I'm going to take, take my calculator. Somebody said that I go way too close. 
for these shots for these videos and I'm so sorry about that like that would be so irritating to me so I'm trying to do better 108.994 minus 682.71 minus 395 equals twelve dollars and twenty three cents so I'm just gonna write that in parentheses Um, actually, 1089.94 minus 12.23. So that's the total that I'm spending. 1077.71. Okay. So that's the breakdown. Nothing too exciting. Actually, I'm going to fill this in properly. So I'm going to put an NA here. Not applicable. Savings not applicable. Okay, so yeah, we're good. All right, so just for a recap, here is where I list my income. So that is where that goes. Fixed expenses over here. All my variables over here. Now I could total them out and I think in my new sheet, do I have a total? Uh, let me check my August. I do. So if you use my August budget kit for paychecks, the last line for each one of these categories has a total. So you can actually do that in the in the table here. Each one of these tables, you can total them up or you can just do it down here or whatever. But I do actually have total written there because I thought that would be helpful. So August is probably as good as it gets for me so far. And if you guys have other ideas and stuff like that for more tweaks and edits, um, I'm totally open to them. Uh, this kit is very summery, so it's very like watermelon themed. I tried to do a fun cover for the end of summer and carry out the watermelon color throughout. And then the monthly is very and it's very detailed. I know that. I'm trying to concentrate on this budget breakdown, but I thought I would show you guys again too if you didn't see it yet. So the monthly budget breakdown is much more detailed. For your income, you just have the amount that you get. But for the other categories, you have a budgeted amount and an actual amount if that helps you. Now, of course, you don't have to do that. You can take these sheets and you can tweak them and edit them to however works for you. I mean, it's totally up to you. So it's just... You know, it's all up to how things work best for your your brain, you know, just like this, how I make them. I've been using these schematics and these layouts since 2019, at least, I think 2018, when I first started my budget journey. Um, and I've just, you know, done little tweaks here and there. But for the most part, they have stayed the same. So that's like almost six years of these layouts kind of looking the way they do. But they've stayed the same because they work and because, you know, for me, this is the way it makes the most sense. So this is really nice. This is probably, this sheet itself has probably had the most change to it and I think the most edits for the better. But anyways, all right, so let's get back to our Grayscale page for our commissions. So that's what the breakdown looks like. And yeah, so I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, I'm doing okay. I'm just trying to get through July and work is very hectic and I would love to have a long vacation but I don't think that's going to happen so we're just going to plug along and that's about it so again video suggestions I would love them down below if you're on TikTok please visit me over there if you start to follow me please make a comment on whatever video that you find and let me know so I can follow you back I just want to make sure that our community stays tight both over here and over there and um, that's it so I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you guys next time